everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are having a really good day today. So just quickly, I just want to say I'm really, really sorry about like the lack of videos on my channel at the minute. I am just struggling to find time to film at the minute. Um, it is what it is. But when I do find time to film, I am getting videos filmed for you guys <laughs> so for today's video anyway now that i've got that out of the way we're going to be doing my empties for february i have got quite a few empties from feb which i'm actually a little bit surprised at um but yeah i guess let's just get into it i have them all in this box here so let's get into it honestly keeping glossy boxes just for like little things like this is so handy <laughs> I'm glad I kept them. So I don't have any particular order to go through in here. So let's just get started. So I guess we'll go through skincare stuff first because I have a few skincare products in here. So the first empty that I have is the Simple Purifying Cleansing Lotion. I use this to take my makeup off. You guys know I've had this in an empty pretty much every month, if not every other month. Um, I do really like it. I'm just kind of looking for more of like a cleansing balm um i can't really find one like i don't really know what i'm looking for because i haven't ever used one before so yeah it's kind of like a learning curve <laughs> so if you guys know of any like good cleansing balms please let me know in the comments because i would love to try one but yeah i've emptied this i do really really like it and it is super affordable if you were looking for something affordable to take your makeup off i think they're like three pounds or something uh but yeah i'm just looking for something that's kind of will do a bit more of a deep cleanse like a balm will take my makeup off really really easy and then i can use my other cleansing products to do my double cleanse but yeah anyway next product my cerave facial cleanser so i use this every morning and every evening um <laughs> I used this a while ago, I mentioned it a while ago, I said it was like one of my favourite like facial morning cleansers that I've, I've ever used, like it's like a wash off cleanser, I love this so much. I got the, um, yeah, for normal to dry skin, which is not my skin type, um, I have like oily combo skin, um, but this just made my skin feel so, oh, just like quenched, like it really just... Honestly, it made my skin feel amazing. Really, really clean. Um, and yeah, just super hydrated, like, all the time. I loved using this. 100% will be getting another one and probably get one for, like, combination oily skin and see how that is. But I absolutely love this cleanser. I, I really, really enjoyed it. It got put to the back of my cupboard because as I went for a stage of, like, having um, really, really bad breakouts. And, yeah, I was struggling a lot. So I brought the... Um, la roche posay i think the facial wash so i kind of like substituted that um for this or no i substituted this for that rather um so i haven't been using this but then i found it in the back of my cupboard the other day oh and it's just i love it honestly really really good cleanser and it's a little bit more pricey than other like face washes that i've had before but oh i loved it so much honestly just cannot recommend this enough i literally ended up taking the lid off of this because that is one thing i didn't really enjoy about this is i had quite a lot of product left at the bottom but i could not get it out of the pump i had to unscrew the lid and like um like pour it out on my hand as best as i could uh, and then at one point it that wasn't even possible but there was still quite a lot left in it so i had to leave it like upside down and yeah that was the only problem i had with it but i love the um i loved using it as like a face wash in the morning or like a cleanser in the morning i just i loved it so much the only other skincare product sorry that was really loud my microphone is right here so i'm guessing that picked up but the only other skincare type product i have is the rhodiol dragon's blood eye mask to hydrate and tone i actually really enjoyed this eye mask i don't usually like eye masks i feel like they take up too much time don't really do anything but one morning I had to take my sister to go on the sunbed because <laughs> she likes to go on the sunbed uh, to kind of like clear up um, any like skin acne or anything that she has and you know obviously just to get like a little bit of a tan. Um, so one morning I got up a little bit too early so you know I just did my normal skincare but like I had a bit of time left over so instead of doing just eye cream 
I decided to do this. And honestly, I saw a difference. Like I looked more awake and I don't know, it made my skin look better. I know it's only for my eyes, but cause my eyes look so awake, my skin just looked alive. Like I don't really know how else to explain it. Like honestly, I really, really did enjoy them. And I am contemplating buying some more. The only problem is, because I don't use them very often, I don't know whether it's worth it because I'm sure Rodeal is a little bit more of a pricey brand. Um, but now that I know these work, um, if ever, you know, I wanted to indulge and buy some eye masks. Um, this would be one that I would buy 100%. Um, so yeah, if you were thinking about trying out the Rodeal Dragon's Blood eye mask, I actually really, really recommend them and I genuinely saw a difference. And um, my eyes definitely look more awake and because I looked more awake, I feel like my skin just looked really nice, like, all together, if that makes any sense. <laughs> so then I also have a little mini perfume sample here. There's actually a little bit left in the bottom, but I literally cannot get this out. I was, when I first looked, I was like, how is this in here? There's still perfume in here, but like, I'm spraying it as much as I can, like, tilted to where the, um... I don't know, the tube to get the, <laughs> the perfume up is. And it just will not come out. So I know why this is empty. But this was a little three-piece set that I got from a, a glossy box. And yeah, it was just like a, a few... Uh, sorry, it was just three perfume minis. So this one was the One More Gourmand, I think that that says. This one was quite a... I don't know what the word is. Like, it was a very strong scent. I did not like it. <laughs> not at all. From what I can remember, it was like quite a, for lack of a better word, I guess grassy kind of a smell. Like, I don't know. I, it just was not for me at all. Definitely wouldn't repurchase this particular one again. Uh, I am trying out another one now. Um, so I'm just trying to see if I can get a little bit more out of it so I can remind myself. Yeah, like, it's just, I don't know, it smells like the woods. I don't know how else to explain that. Like, if you was going for a walk in the woods, this is kind of like what that smells like, but more perfumed, if that makes any sense. I know it doesn't, but I don't know how else to explain it. It's just not for me, and I didn't really enjoy it, and I wouldn't repurchase it. And I'm not really sure what brand this is by. Oh, there it is. It's by Judith Lieber. Lieber? I can't really see. The writing's so small. But yeah, I didn't really like it. But I am trying out the other two perfumes at the moment. So I guess we'll just see if I like those two more, I guess. <laughs> I feel like I've been really getting through some of my perfumes at the minute. I have like a load that are like almost empty. So I feel like there's going to be quite a lot of perfume empties coming up. So then the next product I have in here is the Lee Strafford For the Love of Curls Leaving Conditioner Moisturising Mist. I really liked this when I curled my hair. I really, really liked it. It left my hair feeling really, really soft, um, but still really curly because I struggle with either having like moisturisers that kind of drag my hair down and don't let it be as volumised and like... Um, curly <laughs> and because I straighten my hair so much I'm trying to get my hair the way it used to be when it used to curl because it doesn't curl as good as it used to um so I have been curling my hair more recently for that reason and I do feel like it has helped but having this product really just helped because it wasn't too heavy so my hair could really just you know soak in all that moisture but stay curly it was really really nice it smells amazing I love Lee Strafford like hair product scents i love them um but yeah i really did enjoy using this and i definitely would buy another one um so yeah i'm really really glad that i got this i can't remember if i just brought this one time i don't know but again i had the same problem with the cerave that i had with this by the end i couldn't get the spray out so i was just taking the lid off and then you know pour in whatever i could out onto my hand which was kind of annoying a little bit messy as well but nevertheless this is a really really good product if you have curly hair 
I keep getting like the odd waft of that perfume now, but I'm not enjoying that. So next up, I have two makeup products that are empty. And if you watched my project pan video and also my 100 uses, I think, I'm not sure whether it was my 100 users or not. But anyway, my Project Pan type videos, which I'll leave like linked in the eye. I don't know whether it's here or here, but there you go. I'll leave both playlists <laughs> linked up there for you. They are in those, so you will have already seen them. But the first one is the RCMA No Colour Powder, which I used to love. I used to really, really like this. And then I just used it again and just didn't really like it. Like, because I was using it constantly and I wasn't like swapping out any other powders I just realized that the other powders in my collection that I do use are just better than this so I don't like this anymore it's not a bad powder don't get me wrong but there's just better out there now I believe so sadly I won't be buying another RCMA no color powder unless it was literally for a video but with how big these pots are I don't think I will be doing that um it is good value for money. I think these are like £13, but you literally get so much product. You get three ounces worth of product and it honestly lasts me ages and it would have lasted me even longer had Aurora not got a hold of it and tipped the rest of it out. <laughs> so it is really good value for money, but I just wouldn't personally buy another one. But yeah, I guess it does just kind of show how far like makeup has come because this used to be like the bee's knees this was like what everyone used to use the only thing is that i used to hate about this as well is literally the um lid for it i've just screwed it off i don't know why it's like the worst design for a powder ever but now that i'm thinking about it i literally could have poured the powder into this lid probably could have been a better idea but never mind i don't have that trouble anymore and i'm glad to see it out and make some room for some new powders in my collection. So the last product is another makeup product and it is one of my favorite lip glosses I've ever tried. So this is the Skin Chemist London uh, Lip Plumping Lip Gloss. I love this, it's the Rose Quartz Lip Plumping Gloss and it's very, very dirty, <laughs> the packaging is, uh, because I used this to death, I loved it. It just made my lips look not more plump i don't think it made them look more plump but what it did do was the fine lines that you have on your lips it just filled them in like it made them not as noticeable which in turn made your lips look more plump well it did for me anyway and i really really loved it it was such a comfortable gloss not sticky at all but super glossy it just looked amazing your lips just looked so juicy and oh honestly I don't know how easy this is to get in the UK, but if it is easy to get and it's not super, super expensive, because I'm not sure, because I've had this for a while from my glossy box, um, I would buy another one 100%. Like, definitely would buy another one. It just is one of the best glosses I've ever used. And I'm honestly quite sad that it's gone. <laughs> but I did enjoy using it. And yeah, if you can get a hold of this brand, I would definitely say give it a go. Um, and yeah, hopefully it's easily accessible for me too because I would love to buy another one once I've worked my way through some of my own glosses. So those were all of my empties from February. I feel like there's actually quite a lot, to be fair, to say February is like a shorter month. And my last month's um, empties got filmed kind of late. So um, the month got cut down even shorter. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it's not super, super long and I didn't ramble too much because we all know what I'm like for rambling. But yeah, I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this or Project Pan style videos, makeup content, all that good stuff, then make sure you subscribe before you head on out of this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed because that really, really does help me out. And comment down below any video suggestions because I need some suggestions, guys, to get some videos that you guys want to watch. So leave them down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. That was rude. Why is my phone go off on the outro?